Tomorrow, President Obama will travel to Cuba, ushering in a new era in the United States' historically rocky relationship with the country. The president will meet with Cuban President Raul Castro during his two and a half day trip. Denver 7's Brenda Lise Gonzalez is here in the studio now. And Brenda, you caught up with some local Cubans here in Colorado. They had some mixed feelings about the president's visit. Well, Nicole, this trip is just another sign of changing times for the island, but whether or not those changes are good depends on who you ask and their own experience in Cuba. So this is your place? This is our place. Tucked away in Lakewood. Wait till you taste that. Is a taste of Sergio Negrin's Cuba. Oh, Cuba, nostalgic Cuba was almost like a paradise island. Negrin came to the U.S. with his mom as a refugee in one of the last freedom flights. She was able to get three visas for her, myself, and my sister. And my father was never permitted to leave. Today, a picture of his hometown hangs on his restaurant wall. Nothing was missing. A reminder. Today, everything's missing. Of the place he left and the country where, for the first time in 80 years, his president will visit. And it's the start. You, you got to begin somewhere. It's more the timing of President Obama's trip he can't agree with. Can't support communism, and to me, that's a form of supporting communism. Now, travel to Cuba could be easier than ever after earlier this month. Frontier Airlines applied for a direct flight from Denver to Havana. It asked Negrin whether he plans to leave his restaurant. Cuban combo, the plantains hold a pop. And head back. As soon as communism is gone, absolutely. But as for anyone else, including his own sons. They don't have the same ties I do. I'm totally for them to visit Cuba. Until his chance, he'll enjoy his old Cuba. Medianoche y el cubano. From here. I can't. You know what they've done to my wife's family, to my family, and the millions of others that we know. It's unforgivable. So Boulder shares a sister city in Cuba. There's an organization there that's been traveling to the country for years now. The head of that group tells me he thinks the president's trip is a good way to open up and restore a relationship with Cuba. Reporting live in the studio, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, Denver 7.